So looking in long division, ladies and gentlemen, we can see the division across here by separating each one of our terms. Here, all right, basically long division, what we're doing is we're asking how many times does 2x divide into 4x squared? All right, that's basically the question when we're applying long division. We're asking how many times does 2x divide into 4x squared? Well, the reason why I wanted to do this is because, guys, it's like right here. How many times does 2x divide into 4x squared? We've already done this. How many times does it go in? 2x times, right? So you put your answer right up there. Now, for the long division algorithm, what you need to do is take your quotient. This is the first part of the quotient. This is the divisor. This is the dividend. You're going to multiply it back, and um, you're going to write it down below that first term. Now, make sure um, to always check your answer if you're like, oh, I, you know, obviously we have the answer right in front of us. But just to make sure if you did it correctly, these should always be the same. Because now the next step that you're going to do is subtract. I always subtract my rows by using parentheses. Because somebody in here is going to make a mistake. I even make the mistakes of missing a negative. It happens every single year. happens every single time. So just I, even though this is a monomial, I just, I just make sure I use parentheses. 4x squared minus 4x squared is just 0x squared, which is just 0, right? Now, a couple different things. You guys could use place values. You could say, well, there's no, nothing here, right? So you could say that's a 0x. So negative 2x minus 0x is obviously just negative 2x. Or in like algebra 2, sometimes we just use an arrow and say, just bring it down. Like subtracting 0 is nothing. Like you're just taking, you know, you're just bringing it down. Does that make sense? In reality, you really are subtracting zeros from there. Or a lot of times you can bring them down a little bit quicker. So now we apply the process again. How many times does 2x divide into negative 2x? Answer is negative 1. Negative 1 times 2x is a negative 2x. Negative, oh, I'm sorry. Subtract the rows. Negative 2x minus a negative. See how the double negative comes in? Reprensity is really important. Negative 2x minus 2x is again going to be a positive, uh, I'm sorry, is a uh, 0x, so it's just 0. And we could just bring down the 5, really subtract from 0. 2x does not divide into 5, so that's what we call our remainder. And when we take to write our uh, division summary, we take the remainder and write it over the divisor. So we'd say plus 5 over 2x. And what do you know, ladies and gentlemen? That's the exact same thing as our answer that we did the other way. OK? Make sense? Yes, no, maybe so. OK.